Hello and welcome. Uh, I am Dr. Ankit Parag and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, pediatric allergy and sleep medicine at BLK Super Speciality Hospital New Delhi and Children's Test Clinic New Delhi. So in this video, we'll be briefly talking about skin prick testing in children, when it is required, why is it required, how is a skin prick testing done and interpreted. So skin prick testing for children is basically utilized to identify the underlying allergens for the various allergies which we deal with. They might be children with persistent asthma, they might be children with, with troublesome allergic rhinitis, they might be children who are having food allergies or children who are having insect venom allergy. So skin prick testing or commonly known as SPT, it utilizes the presence and degree of cutaneous reactivity as a surrogate marker for sensitization within the target organs like the eyes, the nose, the lung, the gut and the skin. So what we do in a skin prick test is that we would put a drop of the allergen on the ventral aspect of the forearm of the child. And this is followed by scratching this particular area with a specialized NSPD lancet, which would introduce the allergen into the, the hypodermis. Now, the mast cells which are already activated would, would come up to this area and if the child is actually allergic or sensitized, then it leads to the formation of a wheel and a flare reaction, which can easily be measured on the skin. So skin prick testing is required in children who have respiratory allergies like persistent allergic rhinitis or a seasonal allergic rhinitis, which is quite troublesome. Children who have allergic conjunctivitis, children who have persistent asthma, and some children with, with atopic dermatitis, in children who have food allergies, uh, have got an episode of anaphylaxis, children who have immediate acute urticaria where we find it as an IgE-mediated reaction, or acute eczema flare in associated with some food allergy. So what are the prerequisites which we need to know uh, before we do a skin prick testing? So children should not be on first generation antihistamines for the past three to five days. They should not be on any second generation antihistamines for the past seven to 10 days. You could try an antagonist like Montelukast is not in contraindication. Omalizumab should not be taken for the past six months to do a skin prick test. There is no specific contraindication that oral steroids only prolonged high doses warrants a consideration. Now, what is the equipment and material required for doing a skin prick test? So we need a positive control, which is your histamine. We need a negative control, which is the saline. Uh, in addition, we would need the allergens, which can be aeroallergens uh, inside the house, or indoor aeroallergens, or uh, outdoor aeroallergens in the form of pollens, and we can have food allergens. And we would also need specialized skin prick test lancets, which are uh, having a 1 mm tip and they're different from the usual blood lancets which are 3 mm in tip. Now what allergen panel do we choose? This would be different in different parts of the world. Now what remains same is the indoor allergens which includes dust mites. So we use two dust mites, dermatophagoids uh, teronesius and dermatophagoids uh, farini, uh, dog dander, cat dander, cockroach and usually molds like alternaria alternata and aspergillus fumigatus. We would also test for some pollens and as I said it depends on in which geographical area your patient is coming from. So in children uh, coming from Delhi, NCR and surrounding areas or in India we will have more of tropical grasses as compared to temperate grasses in, in Europe and US or Canada. Uh, and the weeds and the trees are also a bit different. So usually we would test for things like mugwort or artemisia, blackweed, ambrosia, amaranthus, genopodium, mustard. We would be testing for holoptelia. Uh, important grasses are like cynodon and things like uh, parthenium and millets and bajra. So these are the common uh, pollens which we would test. 
Now, in addition, we might test food allergens, which can be egg, which can be milk, which can be soy, uh, it can be peanuts and the other tree nuts, uh, and it can be non vegetarian food, which might include fish, etc. So the usual areas where uh, skin prick testing is done is the forearm and the ventral surface of the forearm, or sometimes we might do a skin prick testing on the back of the child. So on the forearm, we would first mark the allergens, including the positive and the negative control. And this is followed by a drop of the allergen on the skin surface. Now, once this is done, the, the lancet will be utilized to prick uh, starting from this cell line, going into this direction and ending up with histamine because histamine reacts fast and would lead to a reaction in around 10 minutes. Now, we are going to wait for 15 minutes for the reaction to be seen. And once uh, 15 minutes are gone, the results are read and the positive results are measured in millimeters. And we would measure the extent of the wheel and not the flare. Uh, like a man to test and we would also measure the, the longest diameter and the horizontal diameter uh, 90 degrees to the first measurements. Any pseudopodia which are formed are noted but they are not included in the measurement of the wheels. And the positive reaction is defined as a wheel of more than three millimeters than the negative control that is our cell line. So these are a few examples of uh, the skin prick testing we do. So in the first example, you can look at this, that this is the positive control, which is the histamine. And these are dust mites, again, DF, which is dermatophagoids parini and dermatophagoids steronaceus, which have reacted strongly in this child. In the second child, we can again look at all these allergens. There's a significant reaction to uh, alternary alternator, which is a mold. In the third one, the child has reacted to Dust mites has reacted to cockroach and reacted to amaranthus as well. So this is a polysensitized child. And this is a young child who had got a wheat-induced anaphylaxis and some reactions to cashews. So we had tested this child for wheat and you can see a big response to, to the wheat allergen, a response to cashew, a response to pistachio, and a, and a response to egg. So how do we interpret the results? So a negative skin prick test is a very low likelihood that the patient is going to be allergic to that particular allergen. On the other hand, a positive skin prick test implies sensitization. Now, if there's a known exposure to the allergen and if there are corresponding clinical symptoms and the child is also sensitized, then we can say that the child is actually allergic to that particular allergen. So there are no particular side effects of doing a skin testing. It does not lead to any marks on the skin. It is not a painful test. And it takes hardly around 15 to 20 minutes for the test to be done. We would usually observe the child for 10 to 15 minutes more uh, because very occasionally the child might have a skin reaction. That's quite rare. So to sum up, skin prick testing results need to be interpreted in the context of patient's clinical history, signs and allergen exposure. A positive SPT means only sensitization is present. Allergy is defined as a positive SPT with a known exposure to the allergen, particularly when the pattern of symptom exacerbation relates to the variation in the allergen exposure. So thank you very much. And if there are any questions, you can write to me or call me and the details are shown here. So thank you very much.